These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud to Phoenix Media. So we got a really quick video tutorial today for CFW users for PS3. I'm going to show you how to play Sega CD ROMs with, using RetroArch. So real quick, you want to make sure you have RetroArch installed on your PS3. I'll have a link in the video description of some examples of RetroArch where you can download it and install it to your modded PS3. Also, you need some Sega CD ROMs to so go online, go to Google, do your searching and find something you like. We're going to showcase Snatcher today based upon a YouTube subscriber request. And then also you need a Sega CD BIOS. Basically, all I can say is just use Google and download that. And I'll show you exactly how to rename it and where to install it on your system. So to keep things interesting, um, I'm going to use this program called Com Jenny's Awesome File Manager to copy the files over. You don't have to do that. You can use a computer, FTP, or you can use Multiman as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is on the left-hand side, let me just navigate to my USB thumb drive, show you what my structure looks like. So I'm going to press X here, go to dev underscore triple uh, zero basically, go to ROM, Sega CD. So I have a BIOS file, it's called um, lowercase BIOS, B-I-O-S, underscore, capital CD, underscore, capital U, dot, lowercase B-I-N. So that's the BIOS file you want to make sure it's renamed in that particular format. On the right hand side, let's go to dev underscore HDD zero, press X. We're going to go to the game folder, press X. We're going to go to this other folder called SSNE 10,000, press X. Now we go to user directory, press X. Then we go to cores, press X. We're getting there, guys. We're almost there. Go to system, press X. And here you want to copy over your BIOS file. So on the left-hand side, I have this arrow pointing to BIOS underscore CD underscore U dot bin. Right-hand side is basically wherever you, you want to put it inside this directory. It doesn't matter. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to press circle. Down here, there's a message about how to copy it. Press start to copy. So now it's going to copy it over from the flash drive to the internal PS3 hard drive, and that's it. We're good to go. So let's go back to the main X and B screen. So quit the game or application, and let me just show you how it works. So yes, you can save states. You can load states. Your ROM file will be in a .bin or a .iso. I've had success using both of those file formats in RetroArch, so it doesn't really care, it seems like. In terms of emulation standpoint, audio is great, video is great, emulation is great, no complaints. So to help save some time and try to make this a little bit quicker video, we're just going to showcase one game today, and we're going to do uh, the Snatcher. So let's go to Load Content, select the file. So I'm going to go to where my ROMs are. It's on my USB thumb drive. You can put your ROMs on your internal PS3 hard drive if you wish and navigate to that folder. I'm going to go to Sega CD, and let's go ahead. You'll see that I have different Snatcher files because I was experimenting with file formats. Like I said, .bin is okay, and .iso is okay, so let's do that. And you know it's working because you'll see this boot up screen of the Sega CD. So, so press start. You see this. Pretty cool. Brings back memories for some of you guys. I'm sure it does. Press start again. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on going. Press start. Press start. New game. Press start. And then you're going to, for this particular game, you got to watch this movie. I don't want to do that. So I want to press down on both joysticks. Here you can save states, load states. So I'm going to press X and load the state. This is a state I have uh, later in the game, basically. So let's go to, I don't know, let's go to the computer room. Oh, that's right. The chief told me to bring you down as soon as you showed up. The chief? Yes, our big boss here at Junker Headquarters. That's his office right over there. Okay, let me pause that. So that is today's video game tutorial. It's not that hard. I think the hardest part is understanding the BIOS file, where to install it, make sure it's renamed properly, go find your game files, and then uh, you'll be able to have a badass uh, emulator machine, basically, on your PS3. If the video is a little bit too quick, I apologize, but uh, I'm trying to keep things uh, nice and short for today. But I'll put some more information and hints in the video description as time goes on to help you guys out. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are pros at this anyway, so you probably don't need that much hand-holding, right? So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.